Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Today's video, I just wanted to do a little get ready with me, girl, um, and hang out with you guys. I wanted to show you guys some products I've really been loving lately, and um, I am kind of trying out some new things. Not really, but I'm mainly just kind of playing with some makeup today and I'm showing you guys some things I've really been liking. So before we hop into it, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure that you've also rung the bell so that you can be notified when I upload every Friday. And also make sure you're following me on social media and my hand will be popping up right here below me so you can check me out on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. I think I am gonna start with my eyes. That was gross, I'm sorry you had to see that. Um, I'm just priming my eyes as per usual with my almost done Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my little headband on. I've got it, I got these little, just little cheap headbands to keep my baby hairs back. Do I look stupid? They don't really fit form to my head very well. See, is my head too oval? My head's not round enough. They do what they're supposed to do, so that's all that really matters. It's a little sneak peek into what I got during the VIB sale, but I did pick up a couple other Natasha Denona mini palettes. This is the mini retro palette. I just thought it was really cool, and I kind of wanted to play with that today. I do already have two of the minis from Natasha Denona, and I got this one and one more, and you will see that other one in um, my haul video that'll go up probably next week or the week after that. But I really wanted to play with this. This is a really interesting color story to me. So it kind of throws me off because of the pinkish packaging. It makes the colors look different than they are. Like this looks quite green, but it's actually pretty gray. I mean, maybe with a hint of a green tinge to it, but I really like this shade right here, which is like a grayish as well. So I'm kind of feeling like going cool tone today, which this is a pretty cool toned palette in general, but I kind of felt like playing with that. So that's what we're gonna do. I wanted to get like a whole look out of it. Let me zoom you guys all the way in since we're doing eyes. Here I am. Okay, I'm gonna start by going in with this really, really light pink matte right here. They have names. It probably doesn't matter because if you just get this, it's there's only the five mini shades in here. By the way, I think these palettes are a really great value for trying out Natasha Denona formulas if you haven't. Um, I have the, previously to the sale, I already had the mini nude palette and the mini sunset palette. And I really love those. And um, I think it's just a great way to sample her shadow formula if you haven't yet. And I'm very comfortable with, even though this is a new palette to me, I know her formula, so, cause it's a personal favorite. And I, I know how it's gonna look. And it, looks great and it blends great. We are using some natural light today as well because it's very warm and sunshiny outside today. It's like 80 degrees, so that's awesome. There's some people at the pool I can see across from me. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, I think to slowly transition into this deeper, like I'll swatch it for you guys so you can see, it really is more of like a slate kind of color. It's pretty gray. It's a really interesting cool toned color. I quite like it. So that's definitely one of the reasons I picked up this palette because I just thought the color story was really interesting. But while being interesting, it actually works. Like it made sense for some looks in my head. Um, so I'm actually gonna dip between the two mattes and mix them together so that we slowly transition, kind of create another transition shade. I was just really excited to literally get into this palette as soon as possible. Like I picked this up yesterday. I was really wanting to get into it as quick as possible. Yeah, I think that's nice, going well. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush. I'm not adding any product right now. I'm just blending a bit further with whatever is left over on that brush. I think this is creating some interesting shades. Okay, I'm gonna take this really tiny, this much smaller blending brush from Real Techniques that's tapered just into that dark slate shade to kind of start to actually build it up to get some depth. And I'm not thinking this is gonna be a super deep, smoky kind of situation, so this is kind of as deep as we're gonna go, which is what I'm happy with. Yeah, blend that down onto the lash line some more. 
Just going back in with the brush that we just used before this one. Interesting. I wonder what would happen if I patted this on with my finger on the outer corner. I like doing eyeshadow with my fingers. Okay, this is interesting. This is very different for me, I think. It's a little out of my comfort zone. I do like cool tones, but they're usually cool toned browns. And this is kind of a very, it's a different variant of that almost. So we have three shimmers in this palette. They are really, really pretty, which I think, ugh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So that's obviously the shade. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's like the pretty high shine one. Ugh. These are so nice. This is the pinky one over here on this end. And then you have like an inner corner bright pink glitter, champagne glitter in the middle there on my middle finger. That's the one on this end. Ooh, these are super nice. The thing I love about Natasha Denona is not only does she have like my one of my very favorite matte eyeshadow formulas, but also her shimmer formulas are just also one of my favorites. It's pretty rare for me to really, really enjoy both, like all the formulas by one brand. I usually have like lean towards a favorite, you know what I mean? But with Natasha, like, love it. Oh, those are so nice. So I think I am gonna go in with that gray one. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Let's just go ahead and with it on the finger. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Wow. Holy crap, <laughs> that looks insane. So it does have like some greenish, like jadey emerald kind of undertones to it, like reflex and there's, it's like sort of blue as well, like a tealish gray. Oh, what a cool color. Oh my Lord, Lord Jesus. I am gonna, I, I do like in general, wetting all of my eyeshadow formulas just to set them down. So I'm gonna take some more of that shade. Oh, it picks up so nicely on the brush as well. And I'm just gonna spray it with my setting spray here. And we're just gonna, oh my Lord. This is one of the coolest eyeshadows, eyeshadow colors I've literally ever put on my eyeballs, I think. Look at how that just turns to like a liquid metal almost. But it definitely doesn't like, make it any less or more intense because this particular metallic formula from Natasha is so, so, so high shine anyway. Ooh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just like mesmerized by this color. Wow, that is so cool. Okay, let's keep going. Or should I go ahead and do a layer of mascara? I probably should, huh? You guys know how I be, building it up. Uh, I wanna do a pretty intense mascara. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Lash Freak. That's this right there, by the way, Urban Decay Lash Freak. Let's move into the boss. Um, I've already moisturized my face and all that jazz, so we're just gonna go directly into foundation. And today I'm gonna be demoing and showing you guys the KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation that I talked about in my recommendations video for the Sephora sale. I'm so excited to finally be showing you guys this. I feel like I should zoom out a bit so you can see. Yes, so I'm really excited to be showing you guys this. I have been loving this foundation. It's great. Let me make sure I don't have too much excess water in my sponge. As I mentioned in that video, I do just use a beauty blender with this. So I'm gonna show you guys that. So, oh, by the way, in case you didn't see that video, or you're wondering, I have shade light 18. Yeah, as you can see, it's a really good shade match for me. And also I wanted to do it today, especially because I have some pretty severe eczema redness on my face. Uh oh, you can definitely see the coverage level of this guy. Now I've only, I've just now dipped my sponge in and this is all the foundation I'm gonna use on my face. I'm not gonna go in again. I'm gonna spread this all around. And what I like to do with this foundation, um, like I said in that video, and how you guys just saw me do it is I dot it center of my face and then I just blend it out from there. So we have the majority of the coverage in the center of the face, which is personally where I prefer it. And um, you just blend out from there. And as you guys can see, she is covered. 
Now, I have definitely built this up this time. I, I think I got a lot of product out when I dipped in initially. Um, I've This is full coverage for me. This is full coverage on my face. And this is the only foundation you'll see me wearing that is full coverage and that is a blurring matte foundation. Now, um, as I mentioned in my recommendation video, I kind of went into detail on that, on this foundation. So I'll try not to repeat myself too much from there. But um, this has a, is what is called a fresh matte finish. And that's actually definitely what I would call it as well, because it is blurring and it is matte in, in terms of it being blurring and smoothing of texture, but it is not matte in the way that most matte foundations and concealers are dry. It is very fresh. You can see I have a glow right now and that glow does last for me, which is kind of wild. And it, the other thing for me is it wears so well. My face just looks so perfected for such a long time with this foundation. I know I'm just blending it. I'm kind of just doing it out of, I don't know, habit. This wears really, really well on me. And let me get up really, really close. So this is what my skin looks like up quite close. And as you can see, my pores, especially around my nose, look really, really nice and perfected and blurred. But my skin lo still looks like skin. It doesn't look, it definitely, I mean, it's very clear that I have makeup on because whose face looks this good on a regular basis? Nobody. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about it so much and move on, but I did want to demonstrate this foundation in a video since I mentioned it in my recommendations video. I definitely wanted to demonstrate it for you guys and show you guys what it looks like on the skin. I've just really been enjoying it and it really, really, really surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like it and I wasn't even gonna pick it up, but before it, it was, even, it was actually even before it was supposed to like be available in stores. I was just in Ulta and it was there. And I was like, oh, I didn't know this was out. And I checked online and it wasn't supposed to be, but it was. And so I was like, hmm, let me just grab it and try it. And I'm really glad I did. This is like an event foundation for me. This is not something I'd wear on a daily basis. Um, this is like wedding makeup, like makeup if I'm gonna be needing to look really glam for a really long time. So if that's a need that you have, I'd recommend it. I really would. Moving on, another product that I'm, I've been wearing for actually a while and I just haven't told you guys about it yet. Cause I'm um, just, I don't know. I just didn't, um, is the new Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. This is the original Tarte Shape Tape, but they came out with this version called the Ultra Creamy because it's their concealer mixed with an eye cream, so it's more hydrating, creamy, if you will. And back in the day before I had eczema, I remember when, a long time ago, I remember I think it was actually the year this came out and I did not have eczema yet and I tried this concealer and I loved it, the original formula. And then after I got eczema, I couldn't wear it anymore because it was too dry for my crusty, crusty face. So I was really excited when I saw they came out with this version. It's, it's actually marketed for mature skin. Um, and if you know anything about the Tarte Shape Tape, you know that it is full coverage, full coverage. And it is. And the thing I like about it is that it's very spreadable. It's actually a pretty thick, creamy formula, but it's quite spreadable. It's pretty, it's really just easy to work with. I have the shade 22B, which is light beige. So it comes with a really big doe foot applicator. I'm sure you know this because it's tart shape tape. It's like the most popular concealer in the world. Um, but it comes out with like a ton of product on it. So I do kind of wipe it off into the tube. And then what I do from there, I find that it applies the amount that I like to work with. It's not like globbing up. And like you can see it's, I mean, I've wiped off literally most of the product on there so that I'm really just using the doe fit like I would my brush now. I'm really just spreading the product. Whereas if I had not done this, I would just be adding a ton of product. But I'm not, it looks great. Uh, since this is a little bit lighter, I'm gonna use it to highlight my face just a smidgen. I never do this, but since we're going for the full coverage life, I'm gonna do it. 
And I literally didn't dip back in one time for my whole face. I just used what was left over. So I'm gonna take my sponge. I'm actually gonna wet it a little bit more because I wanna infuse some moisture into my face as I blend my concealer out. Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. She is quite full coverage. Even with that small amount of product, you still can't see any of my under, under eye circles through that. Wow. I have not worn this full coverage of makeup in a long time. Long time. Long time. So um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and highlight, which is weird, but um, I prefer using this particular highlighting product before I go in with my bronzer and I'll kind of explain why. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Wow, two Tarte Shape Tape products in a row. Sorry. But this is a really beautiful highlighter. Um, I like to use it kind of like I do the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flaws Filter. It is, as you can see, a skin tone shade. The reason though that I like to do it before I do my contour bronzer situations is because it is actually quite pigmented, quite pigmented. And so um, if I do it after my bronzer, then I notice that it's like not only added sheen, but kind of taken away some of my bronzer, like brighten up that area. So I personally just prefer to do it beforehand and it comes with a little sponge in the end and it, you can just take it out and wet it um, and keep it there. But I like to take it out obviously and use it that way. But as you can see, it's just like the Charlotte Tilbury kind of a situation. It's a skin toned, very not super intense, but glowy highlighter. And I just prefer to do it beforehand. And if I want a little bit more after I bronze, after I bronze, then I kind of do it strategically and I really, really like this product. I have the shade Alight, which I think is the second or third lightest shade. They have really nice shade range. That's that, and it's really, really, really pretty and glowy. I love it. Um, okay, next we're gonna go into bronzer and contour. So first, actually, I'm gonna use two products for bronzing and contouring today. These two right here. So first is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Bronzer, Glow Bronzer in the shade Fotan. This is a liquid bronzer from them. And I think it's being discontinued and my heart is gonna be broken. I w I'm gonna be so sad because I saw it. I saw this line, the liquid, they, had, they did liquid cheap products a couple years back. And I saw it in TJ Maxx, which is where products go to die when brands are discontinuing them. The leftover product goes to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff. Um, but it's actually more of like a cool toned bronzer shade. And so um, personally today I kind of wanted, I didn't want to go super cool toned. I like it in the winter time just to do this color all over my face. But now we're getting into spring and summer. I want to keep it warm. So I got a mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Falls Filter for Superstar Youth Glow. They came out with minis. And I think it's a great way to try it if you haven't yet, by the way. You definitely should pick up a mini. Um, and I picked up the shade 6.5 because I kind of really wanted to try a sh like a, sh a deeper shade of this for a bronzer. But I didn't want to do a big one because that's like, what if it's the wrong shade and what if I don't like it? And then it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm more likely to go through this as a bronzer. You know what I mean? This size is a bronzer. I'm more likely to go through this size as a bronzer than a big one. But yeah, so this is the shade 6.5. It is quite warm though. It's gonna be great for summertime. But I will say I do just like to use a really small amount and go in sections and just really slowly blend it out. See, it's quite, quite, quite orange, but it looks really nice. I think it's great. So that's something exciting. But see, I, I like a little bit more cool tone as well as like a warm bronze. So that's why I'm gonna do both. And I just really, really light-handedly blend this out to let the stipple kind of longer bristles of this brush do that work for me. Yeah. So now, oh pump some of this out into the back of my hand. It is liquid and I will use my, this is a great brush by the way. This is one of the new collection, newer 
ish. I think they're still in stores. Collection is from Real Techniques called the Wild at Heart Collection. And this brush is so nice from it. I actually quite like all the brushes in that collection. See how much cooler this one is? Yeah. So then I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I applied the other bronzer with. And we're just gonna mesh those two together. We got a really glowy bronzer situation happening here and I'm really into it, which I quite like doing glowy cheek products if over like this foundation since it's a matter finish, you know, add that glow back in throughout the cheek products so we keep a nice balance there. This just makes me feel so summery. So nice and summery. Mm -hmm. I feel like I look kind of crazy in the camera. Like in real life, in natural light here, it just looks like a very soft bronze situation. Yeah, I think that looks better. I think I fixed the lighting a little bit. But yeah, really nice bronze situation here. Okay, so that's bronzer. Now I think I will re-highlight a bit. As I mentioned before, I'll wipe off the doe foot of this and just concentrate in areas, smaller areas. Oh yeah, that's the level of dew that I like to be at. Let me move back into the lower lash line, huh, with some eyeshadow. So we're just gonna use those two mattes from this palette on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start out with a pretty big pencil brush into that light pink matte. These are just some really cool tones together in this palette. I quite like it. I'm pretty impressed, actually. I think I'll get more use out of this palette than I kind of thought because they are such different colors, but I actually think I'll get quite a bit of use out of it. Okay, I'm gonna go into the slate shade there with just a smaller pencil brush and concentrate it closer to the lash line. You guys know the drill. This is nothing new as far as technique. In case you didn't think about this before and wondering why I'm like doing like this. It is much easier to blend your eyes and not have to raise your eyebrows so much by just tilting your chin down and then looking up just with your eyes. There we go. Now I think I'm gonna do something fun is I'm gonna take another pencil brush, about like a medium size, and I'm gonna go into this shade over here, the really, really bright champagne pink, and I'm gonna use this as like an inner corner kind of situation. This is gonna be wild. I think I am gonna like, just go ahead and spray it. Yeah. This shadow is crazy, it's so bright. This is about to be wild. Okay, ready? Wow, it's like a spotlight in there. Oh my gosh, I love this. Stun. I think I am gonna blend it slightly more into the inner corner like kind of blend it and with the lid shade we've got there. Oh, wow, that looks awesome. That's like, it's a look for sure, but I'm really into that. This ain't no everyday makeup situation. We are having some fun playing here. Wow, okay. Let's go into some blush. The blush I'm gonna use today is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush in the shade Magic Hour. It's really nice, light pink, oh, so pretty. I'm gonna take a little brush. I'm gonna really swirl my brush into this. Gosh, I love these blushes, they're so pretty. And this one especially is so light. You can really just like Lightly build it up. Oh, there's Michael. There he is. There's me. My lovely husband. Hi. Hi. How's it going so far? Oh, we're having a time. Yeah, having a time. A good time or a bad time? A good time. Good time. Great. Good times are good. Let's go ahead and apply another layer of mascara, and then we'll go on. We'll finish up with the lips. And we'll just cut straight to that. Back at it. Let me actually go ahead and spray my face. In case you were wondering, the spray I've been using this whole time is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. I love this facial spray. Let's, um, actually, let's put on a little bit of powder. So, I brought out here 
the um, Jaclyn Cosmetics Brighten Up Luminous Powder. And I haven't really tried it because I don't trust powders. <laughs> and this is kind of supposed to be like, a, similar to like the Hourglass um, finishing powders, like a soft, glowy powder. But uh, we're, we're gonna see. I'm gonna put some of this powder on my face. So I'm gonna dump some of it into the cap. Oh, there's also a lot of shades of this. I have the shade, oh, I think my shade's called Brighten Up. Okay, yeah, I think it's called Brighten Up and this is just the luminous powder. It's like a peachy shade. I'm gonna really work it into the brush bristles and then tap it off, work it in some more. I'm skeptical, I'm gonna start with the center of my forehead. I think that looks fine. Um, I can tell that there's powder on it, but it, it looks okay so far. I'm gonna put some here to kind of set my concealer. I'm just gonna kind of go over my highlight with it. I like how everything I'm saying about this sounds like a question. Interesting. I don't know about that. I'll show you guys, like, let me swatch it for you. Like if I, if I swatch it in the center of my palm where there's like some moisture, you'll be able to see it's like a soft highlight. She's reflective. That's it right there in the palm, you can see. It's got some reflection to it. We'll just kind of have to see. I don't know about that one yet. Let me touch up my eyebrows a little bit so that we can do lips. Okay, I brought two lipstick options out here. Let me just kind of put them on my lips and I'll make a decision. No, that's too pink. We're gonna have to go with the other one. It doesn't look quite right with this. Okay, I think we're gonna do a pretty nude pink situation. Pinky nude moment. So I'm gonna use this Patrick Ta lip liner, Precision Lip Crayon. This is the shade. She's proud. It's a very, very, very light nude beige. I actually forgot how great of a shade this is for my lips. It's like pretty similar to my lip color. Okay. 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 All right, so the lipstick I'm gonna be applying. These are the uh, Full Force Plumping Lipsticks from Buxom, and this is the shade Goddess. This is one of the most surprising, I don't know if I've, have I mentioned these on this on my channel before? I'm sure I have. Um, these were so surprising when I put them on for the first time, how much I liked them. I don't know, there's just something about the texture and the finish. They're like a traditional cream kind of lipstick. They're not super matte or super sheer, and they do have a little bit of like a tingly sensation to them, but not very strong at all. And I just love the way they look on my lips. Yeah, I love this lipstick. I love it so much. This is one of my favorite nudes, like ever. Okay, well that, let me zoom out a little bit so we can do the outro. I'm not gonna fix my hair. Wow, my bun is so tall, <laughs> but it's fine. That's it for me today. These are some products that I've been liking that I just didn't know if I'd mentioned before. And I especially wanted to feature obviously the foundation and just um, play with the new mini that I picked up yesterday and you guys will see the other mini that I also picked up in the sale in my haul video that I'll be posting. I still haven't tried these Home Cosmetics Heaven Glow, Heaven's Glow blushes. You, you just really need to. Well, that's everything for me today. Let me know how you felt about this video. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you love me, if you hate me. Don't do that. Be nice. <laughs> Um, this was just a fun, different look for me, and I knew I wanted to go more glam because of the foundation that I was showing you guys. Um, this is obviously not like a regular look for me. Definitely the next get ready with me I do, I'll do something more like everyday situation, which is what I usually do, so it's not like it's new news to you guys. But that's okay. But this is kind of a more full glam get ready with me to show you guys the uh, full coverage foundation that I've been liking that I will probably, that'll probably be my foundation that I wear this summer to the weddings that I go to because it's, because it's great. Thanks so much for being here, and um, I'll just uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, let me do some thumbnail shots. I'm just doing thumbnail shots. You can come out if you want to. You look so creepy. <laughs>
Ew, you actually licked me. I did. 